In this screencast I want to demonstrate a new enhancement for the Ripple stack that we call Queued Jumper. This significantly simplifies the use of and access to open air platforms and makes it easy to integrate with fire resources. The idea is that all I should need to know is the names of the open air templates that I want to use and that most of the donkey work and scaffolding can be generated for me automatically, leaving me with a pretty simple set of tasks to complete. I've already configured the queued jumper feature on the Ripple system I'm using and built out the template JSON objects that it had automatically created starting points for. So let's start by using the Ripple UI, known as Pulse Tile. I'll select this patient, Ivor Cox, and bring up his allergy records. Now this is a development system, so there's a lot of strange test results that have been put into this system. However, I'm going to add a new allergy record through the UI. I'll put in a cause that I can easily recognize again when we retrieve the data. And I'll save the record. Now in this example I've got two open air systems connected to the middle tier named Ethosis and Morand. The new record will have been saved on the Morand system and if we search through the allergy records in the pulse tile UI we should find the one we've just saved. And here it is, Rob test allergy with a reaction of sneezing. Okay so let's now switch to the queued jumper feature it's accessible as a number of simple REST APIs. Let's first retrieve the allergy records from the Moran system. We'll use the default output JSON format that was figured out automatically by Queued Jumper for the allergy template. So I use this REST URL and you can see that it's asking to fetch the records for Ivor Cox, that's patient ID 9999000. And I want the allergy records, so I just add the template name to the end of the URL. In this case, IDCR Adverse Reaction List V1. For security purposes, I need a valid authorization token. That's here. And now let's run it. And back have come all the records from the Moran system for this patient, Ivor Cox, for the allergy template. I didn't need to know any AQL for this, all I needed was the template name. And here at the end of the response is that new allergy record that I added into PulseTile. Now this output format is what Queued Jumper has automatically figured out from the OpenAir metadata, but it might not be the format that I want. For example, the Ripple UI PulseTile expects a different JSON format. Well, I can tell Queued Jumper that I want this Ripple UI format by adding it to the end of the REST API. And when I rerun it, here we are, all the data now comes back in the correct format for the Ripple UI. And once again, here's our new record that we added through PulseTile. What Queued Jumper did was to apply the appropriate template. And how about if I wanted the allergy records as a bundle of fire records? Well, all I have to do is change the output format definition to fire in the REST API. And now when I rerun it, and here we go, Queued Jumper has used its FAR template to reformat the open air data into FAR format. And here again is that record that I added through PulseTile, but this time in FAR format. One of the cool things about this Queued Jumper capability is that the templates themselves are just JSON objects. Here's the FAR one. The template reflects the structure of the output object, in this case the fire allergy intolerance JSON structure, and consists of mappings from the input JSON object, or for more complex mappings, 
calls to JavaScript functions that perform the conversion of the value from the input object property, like here. The way these templates can be created is by using this browser-based tool. On the left, we have an instance of the input JSON we want to convert. In this case, a single allergy record that's in the format that came straight out of Qt Jumper. In the middle, we have our template JSON object. This tool allows us to quickly grab the paths for each input property. So for example, this field, the display value for the recorder, needs to come from this field in the input. So if I put this into tree mode, navigate to the composer value, click on here and select get path, I can now change the template to tree mode, recorder, display and select this option add path and that now puts the mapping in for me automatically. Elsewhere you can see that I can add functions using the function button up here which creates function references in the template and at any point I can try out the template by clicking this button and on the right we can see what the output will look like. Once the template is working properly you just put it into text mode and copy and paste the template JSON object. Qt Jumper is designed so that people can share their work. Someone can define the templates for a particular OpenAir template and then upload it to NPM, the standard Node.js package manager, as a module. Then anyone else using Ripple Qt can simply install that module from NPM and immediately start to retrieve and save records against that OpenAir template without needing to know anything about AQL, flat JSON, or any of the other technicalities of OpenAir. Just run the REST APIs for the template name that you want, and away you go.